Hey Cancer, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so we take what works and leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And um, if I don't catch a wavelength on this reading, go check your other major placements. Or even if I do, if you're just curious about what your other major placements had to say. And uh, go check them out then. And then I'm going to try to remember to post pictures at the end of the video of um, the spread. And I am um, open for uh, personal readings again now after a little vacation and i can't figure out how to like keep the glare off my glasses here and i, I don't know anyway that's the housekeeping order here and then we have the oracle mystical moments coming in here for an intuitive start to the reading hmm. we have mermaid's love here we have um a combination of opposites so this could be you and a job, this could be you and a person, this could be you and another part of yourself. So we have the intellectual here, the spreadsheet, the um, the the guy, or the gender doesn't matter on here, but it's the intellectual, the spreadsheet, the idea man or idea person, very comfortable, very at home in their own world, where they come from in here. We also have the emotional person. I mean, this idea person is more focused on the outward world and what's going on out there and bringing some organization to things. And then we have this other part, this more intuitive, emotional part here, more inwardly focused, very at home in the sea and the ocean and in, in the ocean of, of um, intuition and um, uh, feeling. So we have this union of opposites here and they both love the world that they come from and they also love each other. So, and they love themselves too. This is a very strong, this is the way that a uh, union of opposites can work um, and works best is when both people are very confident in who they are and they're not coming to the relationship, or they're not coming to the situation feeling that they should be more like the other person. They're coming into the situation feeling, I, sh I am me, I'm happy with who I am. I I don't need to be like this person, but I admire them and I love them. And um, and their worlds aren't going to mix, though. I mean, that's one of the issues here is that there's it's two people coming from very different worlds that aren't going to mix at all. But they're coming together. Um, so you could be you could this this water thing could be you in this situation. So this could be a job where you're bringing the creative vibe into a very um you know you're bringing the the creative part into a very like logical organized business or this could be you bringing the logic and the organization and the spreadsheets into sort of a more creative business uh that kind of thing so that's how that would work um job wise but we're happy with who we are we're happy with the world and we're comfortable with our own world and we're coming into union with someone who's very we're, we're meeting someone or something um that's opposite of us, but the union's going to work the stronger we are and who we are and in how much we love ourselves um, and how much we appreciate who we are. And, you know, we're all looking to change and grow, but we don't need to be somebody else. So, and then we have to the moon and back, big dreams, big dreams about how far maybe this situation can go, whether it's work or relationships, thinking about it. Uh, a lot um, but staying put mostly you're staying put here you've got an idea you'd like to share something from the heart uh, that you'd love to share um, and something from your heart that you're reserving for yourself so right now you might just be dreaming about such a connection um, thinking about such a connection looking at the possibilities for such a connection you're definitely looking to the future with a far-reaching vision for the future um, but you're just hanging out here your intuition is is telling you there's something here there's something here with this person or this situation that's opposite of you, um, but you're just you're just thinking about it, dreaming about it, not not going anywhere yet. But you might be a little worried about how it's all going to work out, what's going to happen. All right, Cancer, your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Okay, in your recent past, you have this Three of Wands energy here. This is a very intuitive, this is faith. This is a deep, deep faith. That's what's yours will, will not pass you by. What's yours is actually coming to you and it's on your way to you right now. It's faith in the same way that we have faith that the sun will rise in the morning. Um, because that sun, 
does rise and will rise for the next trillion or so years. So, um, so it's that level of faith that this is, he's out here half naked out on this precipice watching for his ships to come in. He knows something that's his is coming in. Um, and he has, he has a tremendous amount of faith to be out there at dawn, um, in the cold like that. Um, but he, you know, something's happening, something's going on and he can't see it, but he believes it. He believes in it. And it might just be having faith that this, this ideal union is out here or this, um, this thing is out here. I mean, both of these people are very far seeing. They're seeing something off into the future that nobody else is seeing and nobody else quite understands. So you've had some sort of intuition and some sort of deep faith has been stirred in you where you understand that there's something out there for you and you're so expectant of it that you go out and, and look for it. But um, you may have gone out a little too early because now you got the Four of Swords. This is your present situation. This light is so glary. Um, this is your present situation, uh, and that is nap time, uh, resting up for tomorrow, resting up for the what comes ahead, regrouping, rethinking. Um, it's a very passive situation, though. You're not going to be moving very actively. You might not be actively getting out your spreadsheets and, and doing that. You might just be thinking about, if I did make a spreadsheet about this, what would I put on it? So, um, but you're just dreaming about this um, this idea um, thinking about something, thinking about the future. But for now, we're taking a time out and sort of a rest on a break if it's a relationship, maybe. Maybe a break from dating while you think about what you actually want, what you actually, um, and who you are and what you bring to relationship and what you would like uh, in somebody else. So you could be just taking a break from dating or doing something very active. So it's, it's break time. It's like sitting, it's nap time. Uh, but it's for preparations for the future. You're not just gonna lay down and die you're just resting right now it's a pause it's a rest definitely not going anywhere we've gotten this card right here so you're pausing and you're resting right now um, your hopes and fears you might be hoping your hopes fears and what's going on internally is this four of cups card so you could be the one offering the cup glare Okay, I'll do this earlier in the day, I guess, but um, when I get natural sunlight. So you could be the one offering the cup. You could be the one not seeing the offer. So one thing you might be afraid of is that you're going to bring in an offer to somebody. You see somebody or something or some situation and you want to bring them an offer, but they might already have too much on their plate. Things might be too full. They might not be able to see your offer. They may have gotten so drunk on these other offers and this other things from the past that have already been done and already happened that they may not even be able to see this offer because they're passed out. Um, they might not be thirsty for you. They might not be wanting what you, you have to offer. So you might be worried about that. You might be worried that you're missing out on an offer, but you might be too full of, of your plate might be too full and you might be worried that you're missing out on an offer. Or you could be um, hopeful to bring in an offering. I think this is mostly about worries, this Four of Cups is about worrying about your offer being rejected. Um, maybe not rejected out of cruelty, but you, you, you see that someone might have had enough already of some, if it's relationships, maybe somebody had enough relationships already and doesn't want anything else. If it's you, uh, maybe you've had enough of relationships and now you're like, Ugh, what if something great comes in and I'm on a, br I'm taking a break from dating here. I don't want anything right now. Um, what if I can't see it? Um, I've got too much on my plate. What if an opportunity comes in and I don't see it? So these are some thoughts you might be having. Something you might be dealing with is an offer, uh, an offer of connection, of emotional offer, or some sort of offer, maybe a job offer and you can't take it. Um, maybe you're hoping for a job offer. Maybe you're hoping to offer somebody a job or a relationship. Anyway, it's all about an offer being on deck here and uh, some sort of rejection, either intentional or just unintentional, not being able to see it as as what as a, the offering that you mean it to be, something like that. So there's some some worries and fears about uh, offering somebody something and then them rejecting it or or just not even seeing it. Sometimes. Sometimes people ask you out on dates and I don't, I don't even realize till later that that's what they were trying to do. Like, that's this card. It's like, that's what that was? Sorry. 
I did not notice that. Um, so <laughs> just not even noticing that someone's trying to ask you out and you're like, yeah, you know, that was interesting. No, I haven't seen that movie. So, um, yeah, so that's what, that's, what's on your mind there is maybe making an offering and you're worried that it won't be accepted. Um, that's maybe it's not wanted or, or just, it's just not, it could be a bad time. You don't know. And you're worried about it. Um, what's at issue here is this 10 of pentacles, uh, but it's reversed. So there's some sort of inheritance or family issue, uh, not coming in here, not happening, not being rewarded for good behavior. So if, if you are trying to date somebody, you might be like, Hey, I've been really nice and you're not rewarding me, but that's not how dating works. It's a matter of the heart. It's not a matter of work and rewards and it's not a transaction. It's a, um, feeling. It has to do with feelings, which aren't fair, which aren't, which aren't tran transactional. But there is some sort of transaction here that you were expecting to have happen and is not happening. Either some family money coming in or some, some, something having to do with inheritance possibly not coming in or just something that, that you feel like you're good enough for, you, you, you were waiting for, and it hasn't happened. And it could, could be inheritance. This is the inheritance card. The fulfillment of um, uh, financial fulfillment. It could be that you've been looking for a job, a better job, and you just haven't found a, a good job yet. And you've been offering yourself, you've been filling out applications, and you haven't found a good fit yet. And you'd like to you'd like to find your niche somewhere, but you're not finding it. So there's something here, maybe about money, maybe about work, uh, that's just not come to fruition and has not uh, come fulfilled it's not come around yet to to what you were expecting or hoping it's been delayed somehow or just not happening um in your environment you have this queen of cups so you have someone here male or female it's a court card so it's probably a real person an actual person in your life that's pouring from a full cup they have a lot to give they have a lot to offer they're very generous with it they could be the one offering you something that you cannot take right now um, or they could be someone that you'd like to offer someone to. There is it, the Queen of Cups is very loving. She does have to do with love, so there could be a love interest here. Again, male or female does not matter. Um, and and uh, they they could be offering you something, that, but you cannot take it at this moment, um, and that's possibly causing a problem for you. Um, but there is some sort of emotional pouring from a full cup. Um, yeah, the gender seem, seems seems interesting here because we do have the seahorse. And the, in the seahorses, the males um, are the primary parent, the primary caregiver um, of the baby seahorses. So there's something a little bit about gender roles not necessarily needing to, to remain in our culturally defined way or in our, you know, actually the female body is kind of the one having the babies and nursing the babies. So there's some, but there is something about, about gender not being important at this moment. Um, and, but this queen of cups, she does have, um, intuition here. Um, a lot of love. So there's someone here with a lot of love to give a lot of support, maybe. Um, and they know what they, they know what they have. They know how they feel. They're very clear on how they feel. Um, and then, this is the strangest, this reading's a little weird, honestly. Um, this is the five of pentacles in your to-do list. So this is the poverty card. This is the being left out card. This is the not, I mean, this is, this is the poverty card. This is the being left out of something, maybe even left out of a family situation or some sort of family wealth situation, but being left out feeling left out why do you need to come into that energy what is that maybe it is rejecting a, an offer and there's just a sense of not having enough or not being enough maybe the offer just isn't good enough maybe you're worried about rejecting this offer but it's because it's kind of a shitty offer like whether for relationship or something like that not accepting it I mean, this five of pentacles, you're, you're right out. You don't have what you need. You, you're taking care of somebody else here and you just don't have what you need, but people around you have what they need, but you don't have what you need. And somehow you need to come into that energy, man. That's a, that's a mind bender right there. Like what you need to come into this left out energy. Don't go inside. 
don't accept something. It's not enough. Maybe you need to understand that that maybe these three cups, maybe they're not enough. Maybe you need to understand that where you're at isn't actually as satisfying as you think. Maybe you need to continue taking a break, not accepting offers, but allowing there to be not enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of am seeing that with this, like, that makes this card makes it make a bit more sense that you could be not accepting an offer and, and that's worrying to you. But the, your to-do list is to basically stay impoverished. <laughs> stay, maintain, maintain not having something, not going for something. You know, maybe you know there's something better. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should have had the, like, eight of cups card and we have this ten of wands at the bottom about putting down a burden that's not yours you s and you're waiting i mean this is a waiting thing and maybe this is waiting too you're waiting maybe for this situation to turn around for for you to to get the money or the job um but this is a waiting energy i mean look at they're both kind of in this similar posture here waiting for something maybe waiting for something better I mean, we've got the four of swords here. So don't, ex there might be an offer coming in uh, and, and I don't think you're supposed to accept it. I mean, that can't be true for all of you. So, so we're dealing with like offers and accepting offers and your, but your to-do list is not to accept offers right now, to remain out in the cold as a choice. Fascinating. And then we also have this not moving forward. And then we also have this, not accepting an offer. And we also have this, it's nap time, prepare for the future. So what are you preparing for? What's the future look like? Possible outcome, six of cups, reunion with someone from your past. Reunion, happy memories, um, some, some sort of really easy communication, someone that was very easy to communicate with. Um, I think you're wanting to go like back to the future. No, something like that. Because that's what this is. This is like future to the back. The future is the past here. The future possible outcome is, is a connection with someone from your past that was very, so easy to communicate with. So fun, playful to communicate with it. Um, it was a yes and type of communication not a no but not a not an argumentative situation but just really easy communication six of cups so maybe the four of cups just isn't enough here and the offer just isn't we've got the four of cups and the five of cups and then the six of cups here and it's just there's something else there's a there's a better connection an easier connection a more childlike connection it could be someone from your past or it could just remind you of 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 this easy communication, this playfulness, uh, connecting with somebody. So there's there's something from your past that is going to be coming into the, your future. And if you accept an offer now, you're not going to be able to accept uh, the, the real offer. Oh, maybe this is what's going on here. Here's the real offer, but you already took these and now you can't take that. So that's what you're thinking about. If you accept this offer right here, whether it's a job or a relationship, then you won't be available for this thing to come in. This is like a real specific reading. I this feels like as a reader, this feels like um, this this feels like a personal reading. Uh, but so, anyways, so so for some of you out there, you need to either postpone accepting an offer for a while. Um, or just not accept the offer because you'll be too, you'll have too much on your plate when what you really want comes in. So, um, all right, Cancer, that was a fascinating reading for me. Thank you so much for your likes and your comments and your subscribes. I like to, I like to hear your comments. They're very interesting to me and your take on what, what happened and your questions and it's very cool. So I really very much appreciate that and I hope you have a wonderful week.